Can we do some roundabouts? Yeah, roundabouts. Yeah. yeah roundabouts. This MSPSL, I know it's ridiculously long, isn't it? It stands for Mirrors, Signal, Positioning, Speed, Locking. Okay, so I'm gonna throw those at you. I'll try and do it slowly yeah. as we get to the roundabouts. And basically what our aim, what we'd like to do is try and get you independent with each bit yeah. as we go. Well, so we're happy with focusing left turns on the roundabouts. I mean, he's going for a while, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's in a vehicle, I'm sure it was. Okay, so when we see the roundabout, God, we're gonna do everything a bit earlier than yeah. we might in. usually. Yeah. yeah. So we see the roundabouts, the central mirror, left mirror, signal left, into second. Excellent. So we've done the mirrors, we've done the speed, uh, mirror signal positioning yeah. on the left and turning yeah, left. Yeah. We'll start slowing down now, braking. And the last part is don't worry about the clutch. No. Keep it covered, that was good. It was clear. Yeah. So we're carrying on. Keep nice and tight to that curb. Not too fast, that's great. That's it. And stay out of the cycle lane. So this is Kurt's first real time on roundabout. So I'm just teaching him the basic routine, which is mirrors, signal, positioning, speed, and locking. And it's what we tend to do with learners on roundabouts. That's the routine we, we try and stick to just because it's so much easier to get into a habit of similar to brushing your teeth in the morning and at night. When you repeat it enough, you just end up automatically doing it rather than just randomly approaching each roundabout, trying to fit everything in and wondering why it's not working. It's, it just comes a lot quicker by sticking to this routine. Okay, at the roundabout we're taking the first exit left. So mirrors the signal. Mir yeah, into second. Clutch back up, good. And we're looking. Keep those pads, keep that clutch covered. Covered, yeah. That's it. He's coming this way, they're both going this way, so carry on. Often on roundabouts, you don't need to stop, such as left and right junctures rolling into first, which means we shouldn't have our foot down on the clutch. We should have that back up in the appropriate gear. So we're ready to decide on whether or not it's clear, in which case we would be back on the gas and gently carrying on round the roundabout. If it's not clear at that point, you would then be gently on the brake and then clutch down and rolling into first. That's it, look where you want to go up here. That's it, your hands will follow your eyes. So make sure you're looking where you want to go. A top tip for you that is often the case with all learners, including me when you first start, it's learning to make sure you're looking where you want to go. Your hands do follow your eyes. So wherever you look, that's where your hands tend to go. So if you want to turn left at a roundabout, make sure you're looking left down that road. Yeah. Where would you put yourself on the roundabout at the moment? Yeah, like scale-wise. Oh, right at the beginning. One, one to ten. Still one up. being terrible, uh, ten being two, amazing. Probably. Two, yeah? yeah? How are we gonna get to a three? Um, what would you like to get better at today? Start to try and learn half of it myself. Maybe maybe two or three of the things. So trying to, to remember the, the MSPSL routine. Yeah, a maybe few of the two, pieces. Or, two or three of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. I don't expect to get it all in one, no, one sitting. No, absolutely. It takes time. So as I mentioned earlier, Kurt's brand new to roundabout. So all we're trying to do today, we're trying to just give, get him into the gist of the routine and possibly try and learn some of the parts of the routine himself. Maybe he could start by doing the mirrors and the signal and I will just have to focus more on telling him about the positions. And this is how we, we're going to build on what he's already currently learned. And that's the best way probably to learn roundabouts at the beginning. Just build slowly from the start. Don't try and do it all yourself at once. Carry on, and then keep going and decide once you get there. Pop that left signal on. Now clutch down into first, and then carry on if it's clear. No, not quite. That's it. Get your bike. Get your bike. That's it. Off the brake. Don't matter. Don't matter. Hold on. Clutch down first. Brake on. That's it. Now get your bike. And remember, I talked to you about coming off the brake and straight on the gas. Yeah. Wait for that. Keep the clutch up. Keep the clutch up. Off the. That's it. Gas. That's it. That's better. Okay. We're gonna start including a bit of handbrake in there as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. So one thing Kurt's not too familiar with is the handbrake of, and how to do a hill start really. So that is something we're going to touch on next. But stalling it roundabouts, especially on that one, it's got a bit of a hill. Um, if you notice there's a bit of a hill, best thing you can do is use that handbrake. It is a tool, it is there, there is no 
points lost for using it, so I'd absolutely advise using it. Again, if you do stall, the most important thing is just to start the car back up safely. It's not a test fail because it's not dangerous, providing you haven't pulled out onto the roundabout, he was still in the junction. So just try not panic about it, start the car back up safely and get off as quickly and safely as you can. Yeah, so if you use a handbrake, where yeah. can your other foot be instead of the foot brake? Yeah. Okay. So this time at the roundabout, we're gonna include a straight on Okay, and that'll just bring us one more roundabout into the mix. Right, is that okay? okay? Yeah, yeah. So everything's exactly the same. You know how you position on the left? Yeah. And then you go round the outside. So that's that's all you've got to do with it. Yeah, like you did with the other one. Right, okay. Okay. So gently brake in. We don't need to drop down in second. Gentle, gentle, that's it. It was just a little touch, just a that's it, stay off. That's you're fine. Lock in. That pass goes to the very outside, so where do you think he's probably going? This way. Down there. Oh right. You see what I mean? Right. Because okay. he was in the very outside of the roundabout. Right. He was oh. just going to go left. We were going to go straight on, but don't oh. matter. You want to turn around? No, no, it don't matter. Go around the long way again now, aren't we? So this is a very common thing that happens with learners as well, especially at the beginning of your learning to drive journey. There's that many instructions going on that you completely forget the directions until it's too late. So in this case, it was absolutely fine. There wasn't a car waiting there, so it didn't really matter. Um, but if you find you are one of those people that can't take in the directions at the same time, the best technique I've found so far that helps is to, when I give the direction to the learner, to actually get them to repeat it back to me, and that way they normally remember it a bit better. So as I say, top tip for you there, if you don't remember directions, actually ask your instructor to get you to repeat it or double check with you where you're going before you actually get there. Excellent, and then signal. Okay, I'm gonna let you try and have a go at that bit. Yeah. What do we do straight after that? Uh, is it position? Go try. I would drop it into... Ah, uh, right, okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah positioning, you're absolutely right. Mirror signal positioning, and then it's speed, which would be dropping the gear. So yeah, right. good. So he's positioning after the signal? Yes. Right, yeah. and then change so, gear? Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Before you touch that, what do we press? What do we do? That's it, good. Yeah. Positioning is fine, isn't it? So what do we do now? Good. Excellent. And now what's the final thing? Looking. Yeah, keep looking. So this can commonly occur on roundabouts and junctions, especially if there's a bit of a curved road. In this case, there was a couple of parked cars there, but basically Kurt's signal has popped off when he's turned the wheel. Now I've helped him because there's too many instructions for him. I've actually helped him by popping the signal back on. It's really important that you do. This can end up as a serious fault if you don't want your driving test because at the end of the day, you're signaling for the other drivers. And if you're not telling them where you're going, they could possibly pull out and it's just a bit dangerous. So try and always make sure that you pop that signal back on if it does come off. Okay, is it look clear? No. No. Into first at the same time. And stop in there. Okay, so you don't want to go over that white line, yeah? Keep that clutch, that's it. Ease off the brake, look where you want to go, keep the clutch, th keep the clutch there, come yep. off the brake, look where you want to go, gas. Good man, well yep. done. Really good. Yep. Really good. Yeah, it felt better as well though. Who, 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 who do you mean? The cars, the vans that are turning this way as well. I don't know. They're going to carry on going. Right. Yeah, they're just going to keep going. Yeah. Into third. Good. So the roundabout, we're going to follow this. Follow it straight on. Is it's, it's, a, uh, yeah. uh, it's a 40, but don't worry about it because the roundabout's coming up. Right. Alright, oh, there's lots of traffic, so what should we do? Keep that positioning, keep that brake on, clutch back up. That was all nicely done, we've just got to keep that brake on. Oh. Keep the brake on still. Don't feel like you've got to press a pedal at all times. Yeah. Just don't touch anything, just don't touch anything. Even still now? That's it, there's no need. Once he's, once once he's, he's out, that's it. Yeah. Now you can start locking a bit more. All right, see his signal, he's coming off there. Don't know where the other car's going though. That's it, clutch yeah. down, into first. Get your bike. That's it, off the brake, gas. Round the outside, gentle now. Round the outside, keep going. Now this is another common mistake that learners make at the beginning of their driving journey, and that's where you're looking. 
the most important part of driving is actually where you're looking. And if you look at Kurt here, he's looking at those cars on the left junction, wondering if they're going to pull out on him because he's still not that comfortable with the roads yet. But as we practice this more and more and get more comfortable with driving on the roads, he'll start looking round the roundabout where he's supposed to be looking, where I'm looking, and then he'll feel more comfortable and be more confident with those roundabouts. So this is what we've really got to push. And part of doing it is just by practice, practice, practice. When you're on the roundabout, it's always going to be your right of way. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that was too bad to be it fair. It wasn't bad, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah, I would take that. It was your first time that you really properly done straight yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into third course. We'll see, I know it's, yeah, <laughs> I know it's not, so. Um, but yeah, if you've got time, if it's amber, I'd say we were here and it went amber, that'd be a stop. Yeah. So we're actually approaching a spiral roundabout. This is the first time we've attempted a spiral roundabout which can be quite daunting for learners because there's just multiple lanes, which means there's more cars, more traffic. We are only turning left though, so it shouldn't be too much hassle. First exit left, this is a spiral roundabout. First exit left. Yes, yeah. it's right. gonna be nice and easy for us. All you've got to do, well, if you don't want to do. Good, good. Excellent, excellent. These roundabout skills seem to be coming very quickly considering you've done them for about half an hour. Look at him, look at him. God, you're all right, you're all right. And carry on, carry on, carry on. Gentle, gentle now. Well done. Yeah, well done. Just remember, can you, can you remember you can dip that clutch in that second gear a tiny bit if you want? Yeah. You don't have to just. Your go to was to. Lift the clutch up quickly, yeah, 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 and that's what's going to lead to a, a stall. Uh, uh, if you've had any value out of this so far, make sure you subscribe and like it. Really helps me make more videos. And Kurt really appreciates it. Well, they, they, they. Really appreciates it. So after we've seen here, Kurt's been doing this about half an hour, about 30 minutes, and he's already getting used to the routine of mirror signal, positioning, speed, locking. And that's just because we've repeated it over and over again. It doesn't matter which roundabouts we go on. We've chosen to do quieter ones just so he doesn't have so much hassle with other cars and whatever else. And there's less pressure then, which means you get better learning. But the most important thing is following the same routine over and over again, because it's just so much easier to remember. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Remember what's good. Hold on. Are we going left or are we going straight? Right. Okay. Oh, uh, what's so No signal. No signal. We'll check that central mirror though. Good. Yeah. Now what? Good. What pedals? What pedals do we keep covered now? Okay. That's better. Where's he going? Is it clear? Uh, no. Okay. What gear? Is it clear? See that no, was a blocker. Yeah. Good. Carry on then. God, so if there's a blocker going that way, what does that mean for us? Um, I'll talk to you about it later. Yeah, go on. Good man, well done, just we've got the left mirror. Ah, right, okay. Yeah. I do central, but not left. Good. Good. Yeah, that's what you can say. So as I'm just mentioning to Kurt now, when we're at a roundabout and we're looking to decide whether it's clear to go, we are doing just that. Not is it completely clear, is it safe to go? Meaning either there are no cars there or is there a blocker? Now what do we mean by a blocker? If you look at this diagram here, on the right, we have the orange car who's actually pulling out. And why is he pulling out? Because there are cars on the roundabout. But he can see that that green car is actually blocking off the white car on the previous junction, giving him space to safely go. This is what I'll refer to as a blocker. Just because it's a parked car here, which means we can get a bit lower than third of all allow if a car comes. It seems to be clear ahead, doesn't it? Yeah. Check your right mirror, make sure there's nothing there. Gently, off the gas, off the gas. That's it, don't touch any brake, that's it. So we're taking the third exit, so central mirror, right mirror, signal right. Hugging the central line, the sun, that's the positioning. Braking, hugging the line, hugging the line. So you've already decided we're rolling into first, okay, and carry okay. on. Stuck a bit there. Yeah, into second. Keep your positioning, you've got to keep your positioning more. Yeah. Good. Off the clutch, off the clutch. Central <laughs> oh, mirror left, mirror signal left. Do I still stand this bit? Or? No, come across that oh, way, okay. that's it. Okay. Yeah. 
we'll talk about that a bit more next yeah, week. Yeah, that was a bit difficult, that one, yeah. but it's yeah. fine. So as you can see here, when I'm giving directions, I often wave my arms about as well. I try and use my arms to point in the direction that we're going because it just gives the learners, as well as having an audible aid, they get a visual aid as well. And it just seems to really help with where they're going. And this is also really useful if you're learning at home with mum, dad, or anyone else. Just maybe worth mentioning to them to use their hands just to point in the direction that you're going as well. Especially if you have any problems with your left and your right, it's just a hassle that you don't need while you're trying to learn to do roundabouts or turning left or right or anything else. <laughs> God, so no, whoa, 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 get that brake on. Yeah. Oh, that's it. You just, you did really well, but you shouldn't have come off the brake. Right. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. You went off the brake and onto the gas when there's right. traffic yeah. stopping in yeah, front yeah, of you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And that's yeah. cool. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure as always. As I said, if you had any value, subscribe. See you all next week. See you next week. See you in a bit.